music is lovely, but I wanted to kind of just pick up where I left off on my personal playthrough. So what that means is if you are playing this yourself and you don't want to be spoiled, I will let you know. Swamp Lily, I trust you slept well. Like the dead. You stretch out your back, making a sound like snapping twigs. Well, no time to dilly dally. I sense the next four souls on our list. So everything is over in this direction. So let's go there. I'm gonna pick items up along the way. With this game, you wanna make sure that you are always, 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 always collecting items because to be prepared. 
pockets ripe for plucking. Sorry, I'm gonna see about adjusting the settings still. These are all the ones that I've completed. This is like the main quest. We need to collect all of these souls to help awaken the sleeping maiden. So we are currently doing the ram. So let's find the ram. It should be in the center of the village.
Snap trap. I can't. So, oh, but it might be. It's craftable. Okay, so now I've put down the snap trap. Okay. Just because I might actually need those later. Let's find the village center. Oh, dear. Lots of animals. Oh, and there's a well here. That's nice. I can just collect water without having to actually go into the. There's another well in the forest. Stay with the flock. It's the only way. Listen closely, brothers and sisters. We must wear our wool proudly and show the world that plain is best. That's right, plain wool is the best wool. All of these outlandish colors and head-splitting patterns do nothing but confuse and enrage the senses. They are the product of misled individuals. And as we all know, individuals are weak. Only the united are strong. Together, we speak louder than a single voice. Wait. Are all the colors bad then? What about gray? It's almost plain white. Gray is forbidden. Gray is a gateway to blue. And where there's blue, green isn't far behind. Then what's next? Yellow, purple, even red. Oh no, anything but red. No. Always remember, colors lead to discord, to chaos, and with chaos, the wolves will come for us all. I eat not the wolves. Watch out, there's one right there. The nearest sheep nearly jumps out of its fleece when it notices you. I'm not a wolf. Maybe not, but you're different, and that's just as bad. Ah, uh, right, boss. That's right. So what does an outsider want with us? Are you here to tempt my flock with your anarchic ideals? I doubt you lot would have room in your heads for any more ideals. But no, I'm here looking for the black sheep. It seems our shop was burned down last night. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Ah, that bothersome black sheep is a thorn in my side. Never heeds my warnings. Always goes against what's good and proper. But I assure you, I was tending my flock all night, so I had nothing to do with her disappearance. That little sheepdog begs to differ. He says you've always had it out for the black sheep, and I'm inclined to believe him with all your prattling. Lies and slander. You have no proof of any wrongdoing. For all we know, she may have just left the kettle as the sheep stomp about, you notice flakes of ash. 
ash, leaving black marks on the cobblestones of the village square. Proof A looks to me like some of your flock have sooty feet. I wonder where this suspicious trail will lead. Just gonna quickly adjust my my legs here. Please make sure that you are getting comfortable and cozy. Inspect the city trail in the village square. I'll need to reveal the trail, okay? So I believe. Unveiling powder. Sprinkle the revealing powder over the cobblestones to reveal hidden footprints still blackened by ash. It appears as though several individuals were dragging something away from the town square last night. Okay, let's follow them. Fabulous scarf, admit it. 
I was merely following this trail of sooty footprints. But now that you mention it, that scarf has a fine knit to it. You didn't happen to get it from the black sheep, did you? Why, where, oh, sorry, where else would I have gotten something so swanky in this dreary little town? That black sheep is the only other person around here that appreciates good taste. Unlike that ghastly ram, always ringing that gaudy bell of his and boo-booing everyone else's fun. This world is alive and needs a good splash of color once in a while. You know where the black sheep is then? Now hold on. How do I know you aren't another agent of finality like the ram? Just look at that skirt, so last century. You'll have to prove you're an ally of the fashion scene before I say another word. Now, I've had my eyes on some new shoes for ages. Why don't you just snag a pair from the village? Surely no one will notice. <sighs> Those clocks aren't fit for a horse. No, I've got my heart set on elf shoes. Delicate, dainty, exquisite, and absolutely to die for. Plus, I could do with a nice hat to go with my fetching scarf, and maybe some needle and thread to do some alterations. Well, what are you waiting for? The fashion scene moves too quickly to stand around idle. Okay, so I'm gonna need some elf shoes, a sewing kit, a no mat. So, I'm going to take a look in my grimoire. I believe I can make sewing kits. I'm not sure about any of these other items, though. Um, so I need a skeeter snoot in order to make a sewing kit. Um, I can apparently also collect elf shoes from the village. I believe this might be a door to quickly get back here. At first glance, this looks like a neglected shack, long ago fallen into disrepair. But your canny gaze reveals its construction to be beyond the ravages of time, standing overlooked yet constant until properly disrupted. Running your nail along the green of one of the nailed up boards proves to be just the disruption it was waiting for. Yeah, so that is a passageway. So I'm going to go to the swamp first because I can go and get a skeeter snoot. Wow. 
we will we'll see oh there's a gnome okay so I need to make a puzzle box I have never made one of those okay so in order to make a puzzle box I have to go to the docks which is a place I haven't been to yet. So we're gonna have to do that before we can get the puzzle box, which is fine. So this is one of those things that the game kind of, like as much as I kind of want to focus on one thing at a time, it's not always possible. It does kind of require me to discover all of the new areas first <laughs> but that's okay we will go to the docks but what I'm gonna try to do is not start the quest that's in the docks so that's the fieldway path that's the forest Okay, so to the docks is all the way to the right. I really love the art style of this game. And like the music is absolutely fantastic. It is a little grim at times. Um, but it's kind of based in like old fairy tales and folklore. Okay, what was I looking for again? I believe I was looking for a shell of some type. So I got some barnacles from that. Barnacles and bombing salt. Oh, yikes. Okay. That was rude. I believe this is probably the shortcut. So many passers by. This seems yet another collection of crusty barnacles clinging to the surface of a stone until the tide nears uh, next surges. But you can spot the inconsistencies, the irregularities within the scattered arrangement. And with a single exacting touch, the illusion falls away. Okay, so that's now a shortcut. Okay, likely shallows for an easy catch. I need a fishing line. So what happens is we kind of start collecting, um, we kind of start collecting recipes to help us. So I'm gonna grab 
have to fish it line. I'm not entirely sure what I'll get from it, but... Okay, so I got a fish. I was kind of hoping I would get a shell of some sort. It's ripe for plucking. Okay, so I feel like I might have to create that uh, pickpocketing arm. Useful against villagers and fisher folk. Okay, so I need a crab claw.
to do. Let's try to collect some fireflies. I think I just need a net. Spots. 
so far I'm not having much luck I come across them sooner, which I might actually. I'm a little bit scared to try catching the elf in 
this area just because it was so close to the uh, pickpocket. Okay, now that's perfect. Alright. And let's, um, get these to the gargoyle. Which I don't actually remember where that was. It's over here. Well, what are you waiting for? The fashion scene moves too quickly to stand around idle. So there's the elf shoes. You set the tiny footwear aside. Sewing kit. You tuck the sewing kit in a safe nook nearby. Nomad. You set the little nomad nearby. As you present the handful of tiny clothing, the gargoyle lets out a grinding screech. What? What's wrong? These are simply magnificent. The excited statue seems thrilled about the elf shoes in particular. You nearly gave me a heart attack, and I don't see what's so great about those things. They're barely the size of thimbles. Ignoring you, the gargoyle slips the minuscule shoes onto its wiggling toes. Oh, but aren't they just lovely, and they match my scarf. Well, I think you look ridiculous. Now tell me where the black sheep is, or I'll turn you into a gravel next. No need to wrinkle up your rags. I carried her out to a secret grove in the woods to hide from the ram. Even managed to save some of her stock as well. Since you've shown yourself to be no friend to the ram, I guess I could fly you out there too. The gargoyle flexes the heavy stone wings on its back. Okay, so we have now made it into this safe area, and we found the black sheep. So I think this is where we will end today's video. It's where we'll end it. I really hope that this playthrough was enjoyable. I really enjoy this game. And it's one that I've started to play a little bit off stream. So, thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourself. You're doing amazing. And I will see you in the next video.